I'm going to do some simple maintenance on my lathe. I have a product here called Naval Jelly, and it says it's a rust dissolver. So my lathe sits right here in front of my tiny shop, tiny cramp shop, and it's right in front of an overhead garage door. And tragically, this winter, as the rain and snow has been on the door, people open it up, and I've got water that's dropped onto my ways and it's produced a little bit of rust and I also have this rusty old pair of pliers well they're not necessarily old but they had the tragedy of getting a little bit of water on them so if I come in here this will show you exactly what I'm talking about this is uh, tragically taking a little bit of water over the winter from the garage door dripping on it and whatnot. Um, so the ways aren't terrible, but I really do want to get it fixed. So I've been told this product called Loctite Naval Jelly. It's kind of a weird name. I'm not exactly sure where that came from. Maybe the Navy. But it's supposed to do wonders at dissolving rust. So I'm going to show you how I can quickly break down the lathe and we're going to apply some of this after reading the directions it says scrape loose rust brush on liberally leave five to ten minutes easy enough so off goes tail stock off goes the tool rest out of the way. There we go. And the power cord out of the way. Oh. Set it down. So first thing we're gonna do is hit it with Interesting now that I have the ways clean. This is what we're really looking at. And this is taking some water and some CA glue and stuff and turning. There's other driplets on here. So let's try. Let's just try this stuff. Okay, I've got my wax I'm going to put on after, and I've got a little bit of hot water here so that it'll dry faster and it won't be so cold to mess with. And this says I should just wash it off after 10 minutes. Hmm. So I've got something on the bed here, which is like glue, maybe from turning, maybe it's super glue. And then the towel's definitely dirty. I'm 
results are mixed. It seems to have really taken care of the rust. Um, but the markings that were on here, some of them are still on here. And then you can see where the navel jelly went on in different levels and streaked. It kind of stayed streaked. And then here's what I was talking about. I've got some glue and stuff on here that's made my tool rest hard to slide back and forth. So I'm going to get some steel wool out and see what I can do. So I'm going to get some steel wool out see what I can do. I think steel wool will polish without sanding. I don't want to sand and change the size of the steel of tolerances. Well, I'm almost inclined to put some oil on this first. Because oil and steel mix well together. I am. I'm going to put a tiny bit of super oil, sewing machine oil, on this. I'd also expected to uh, have it be nice and clean and shiny instead of this dull etched out gray that I've got. Look, I guess I can't be worrying about that. I've got them nice and clean. That's free now. And, um, good, bad, or otherwise. Some wax to go in here. And it's just going to be the oil. I don't know what I've got combination-wise now. I put some extra on these because they were pretty black. So I'm still going to let them soak for a minute more. But they're starting to turn gray instead of black. You see the wax I put on there in a way that there was some rusty spots. There's still a few spots. I guess I was expecting a super clean, shiny surface, but I got rid of the rust and now it's pretty.